Hello, and welcome to Out of the Aether. Steven, I have a question for you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I am, I think, getting to the point where I'm seeing in the tea leaves that Nintendo is going to eventually release because they like making billions of dollars <laughs> another Mario Kart eventually. I think we're at the end of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe's big DLC extravaganza. I think they've made that game, you know, I, I posted on threads, I think, it is the thriller of video games in a lot of ways. <laughs> it has just been the best-selling game for so long of this generation for years at this point. If you count Mario Kart 8 like on the Wii U, it's been a literal <laughs> decade. Yes, which is unbelievable. It's also, I don't know what it is about the look of it, but whenever I go from any other game, like <laughs> Elden Ring, like, no matter what generation yeah. or graphical fidelity, when I switch from any other game back to Mario Kart 8, I go like, this looks beautiful. Look at this ice. Like it I does. Just, something about the display just always looks better than what I just played. And it's like this weird port of a Wii U game. How do they manage that? I have no <laughs> idea. It is an unbelievably beautiful game. If you're watching this right now, you are looking at Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on Nintendo Switch, which is a, it's a, it's a gorgeous video game. But, you know, that game has been a, a reigning champion of the sales charts for so long. And there's no world in which Nintendo is going to go into the Switch 2 without some kind of successor. I Maybe not immediately, but probably immediately. I feel like the smart move, the smart play for Nintendo is going to be to have a Mario Kart 9 at launch for the Switch. Yeah, I, I don't know how I encountered it, but there was like another end credits after they like ended the recent DLC for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Yeah. Which the new levels are great, by the way. A lot of them are reimagined levels from the older consoles. Yeah. Like, I love how like <laughs> a lot of the Super Nintendo levels from from the slightly cursed Super Mario Kart are like just muddy tracks with colorful bricks. <laughs> and just sort of like, here's a dirt path that's been recently rained on with some like yeah. fun Fisher Price aesthetic on Right. The side. Here's a desire path through a rainforest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I agree. I mean, I think it's clear that they added that DLC just to sort of, I mean, it's like this game is still the best selling Switch game. Why on earth make a new one? Right. Let's just add more stuff. It made sense. And honestly, I kind of appreciated it. The one time I was like, hell yeah, Nintendo DLC. <laughs> right. And if you're paying for uh, Nintendo Online, like their their expansion pass, you are yes. also just getting that included in there. I was going to say for free. It's not for free, but you're getting that included in there, which is nice. Um, the uh, the household level was a, was a favorite. It seems like it's the one that clicked with people, which is like... It's sort of like Andy's room from Toy Story, but yeah. just like the bathroom and like <laughs> the cleaning supplies. It, it, it put into my brain a cursed idea for a Toy Story film that just sort of like CVS items, like toothpaste <laughs> and like plungers talking. It's a little the, too close to Sausage Party, that Seth Rogen yeah, movie. <laughs> exactly. Terrible idea. Anyway. Um, anyway, back on track. Here's my question. Oh, I love that. Here's my question for you, Steven. Mm hmm. Mario Kart 9 comes out, right? For the Nintendo yes. Switch 2 or the Super Switch or whatever they call it. <laughs> the Switch Genesis. What does that game look like? Like, how is it different from Mario Kart 8? Because yeah. you know that there's not a world in which it comes out and it's just Mario Kart 8 Deluxe again. I think that that is what most companies would do, but that is not a Nintendo move to release another Mario Kart and have it be exactly the same as the last one. So how do you think it's different? What do you want from another Mario Kart? Because Deluxe feels to me, Deluxe feels to me like Smash Ultimate feels. Whereas it, like in that it is the pinnacle of what this franchise is. Yeah. And I don't know where you take Mario Kart from here. And I'm curious if you have any thoughts there. Yeah. I think like what I what I actually want, there's a version of, of Mario Kart 9 that is just that. Like, here's the same game with new tracks and new characters and probably would be enough. Yeah. Um, I have two ideas. Uh, one is, I think there's like an inkling of a Smash roster in Mario Kart 8. Like, I always kind of forget There is that. an inkling in... There is an inkling. There are two inklings, In Mario actually. Kart. Yes. <laughs> I can't... I do this by accident all the time. Uh, <laughs> there are two inklings, but there's like... Okay, we have Villager, Isabel, Link. Yeah. Uh, we now have the Donkey Kong characters, which are like Mario adjacent, but are technically like rare in some cases. Mm -hmm. Um... I wonder, I'm, I'm kind of like crossover IP fest out. Like I, I feel like I've had enough, like that, that's no longer exciting to me in a way it was like 10 years ago. Right. I do think though, it'd be fun to just be like this Mario Kart is now 
all Nintendo IP. Lucina's yeah. in it. Screw it. Like right. Captain Falcon, you know, there's the F-Zero tracks. Why is Captain Falcon not in the game? Right. Like, I think that could be fun and could weirdly also tie it over, like, because I'm sure there will eventually be a, a new Smash Brothers. Yeah. But maybe, like, in the time in between now and then, we have this, like, celebration of Nintendo IP in Mario Kart. More levels from other series. I think that could be really exciting. Yeah. Um, I the love other that. idea... I think that's like an obvious slam dunk. Right. In my opinion. You're almost there. Honestly, when they added the, the Animal Crossing level to Mario Kart 8, yeah. I lost my whole mind. Like, imagine that, but so like great. with Metroid. Like imagine like a Metroid level, you know? Uh, Why with not? A, ma- a magnet wall over lava. Like that sounds Oh my sick. God. Yeah. Right? Yes. I get it. I'm right. <laughs> uh, anyway, my second idea is... And I I really hope as we get older that I'm not just like, why don't they do the N64 game? Like I want to avoid <laughs> always pointing at retro as the way forward. Uh-huh. But I do think there's a huge vacancy for the Diddy Kong Racing, Crash Team Racing. Oh, like, like story Racing mode? adventure game. Yeah, like a richer single player. Yeah. Where, you know, we're, we're, we're moving around the Mushroom Kingdom in a go-kart to go to the various hub worlds yeah before we have the races like a maybe like a forza open worlds kind of this is a bigger (laughs) ask yeah but i'm like that's really the only way i can see one upping it is like Mm -hmm. uh actually have a a single player beyond just grand prix and and you know versus modes and stuff wow Um, so those are my two ideas for mario kart 9 I love both of those ideas and I kind of want both of them to happen simultaneously. I think, I think you can have both. I think, yeah, they work in tandem with each other. I mean, there could be like different worlds for different series. Yes. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. Like you go through a portal into the animal crossing area or into the, um, Incopolis area or something like, why not? That'd be amazing. I can't wait to be bitter about this when they end up doing it. And and I'm just like, it was my idea. But it's also (laughs) like, it's an idea that's already kind of being communicated by Mario Kart 8. Right. I think you play Mario Kart 8 and it's like, that is probably an idea a lot of people will have when they see, you know, Link in the game and they see a Hyrule track. It's like, wouldn't it be cool if there was like just racing around Hyrule fields going to different like hub zones? Yeah. Totally. Uh, the Temple of Time. Yeah, <laughs> I do back. think that's how you that... become a baby. Is you go to the Temple of Time and become baby Mario. <laughs> <laughs> I I do think opening that up to other franchises would be really fun and really yeah. weird and interesting and like you know driving through Onet or something. You know, yeah, like yes, would be great. Why not? Um, it'd be very similar to like the Mario Kart tour levels in a lot of ways. Oh um, yeah. The earthbound characters would fit right in and those yeah. items too, like the snake, uh, like the elastic snake. From That's Street. where this idea really takes off is like, you suddenly don't have to be pulling from Mario stuff for the items anymore. Once you can start pulling from, you know, the rest of Nintendo Canon as, as like a, a, a way of introducing new items, then things go really off the rails in really fun, weird ways. Like Absolutely. literally getting, um, like the uh, the grappling hook for Metroid Prime or something, you know? Like, right. why not? Or, I mean, the Inklings are in the game having some Splatoon, like, grenades with, like, paint that would make the roads slippery or something. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah th- th- this is... Oh, my God. I love this idea. <laughs> I'm way more excited about Mario Kart. I, we're making such unrealistic <laughs> expectations. <laughs> yeah, this is... That, like, <laughs> when the game comes out and it's, like, just another Mario Kart, everyone's going to be like, boom! where's the paint yeah mario kart super circuit 2 is what's gonna come out yeah right um honestly i think i think the other direction that you could take you know i i think you're totally right to look at what mario kart 8 specifically like deluxe and the dlc is doing and introducing all of those extra characters and and uh levels and and spaces from other nintendo stuff i think that's like one direction you could take i think the other direction you could take it too is that they are they seemingly are, you know, by Nintendo standards, at least interested in revisiting their own history, right? They are remaking yeah. all of these levels, as you were saying earlier, I think do all of it. Like what if it was a, a Super Smash Brothers ultimate specifically version of Mario Kart? Like I number one, if I had to make one prediction about Mario Kart 9, I think it won't be called Mario Kart 9. I don't know why, but historically companies hate the number nine. They like skipping to 10 or they go to X or whatever. Um, like Windows, there is no Windows 9. There was no iPhone 9. Like I just it sounds it sounds excessive. Even in tarot, a lot of the nine cards are like way too many swords, man, or like way too many <laughs> cups. You yeah. have too many things. 
I think I think they'll skip nine. I think they'll name it something else. I think that's my first prediction there. I, I think, think the other right. thing is you could go the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate route and actually include every character who has been in every Smash Bros. or every uh, Mario Kart game and include every track that has been in every Mario Kart game. I think making this one big holistic, like how do you one up the success of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe? It's by putting everything in that game and everything that was in every other game together in one gigantic package. I actually think that's maybe like the solve for the problem of how do you make that much money a second time? <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. I feel like eight is kind of already doing that though with like the remade tracks and stuff. Well, it's almost, that's what I'm saying. It's almost there. It's like almost, in, no, you're right. in yeah. your, in your camp of saying like, look, you get these characters from other games. Why not add more? Why not lean more into that? I think similarly on my end, it's like you've made so many of the tracks remake the other ones, do all yeah. of it. Every track from the SNES one, every track from Mario Kart tour, like don't leave anything out and bring all that stuff together. And I think you also have a really compelling package for a new Mario Kart. And maybe add back the double dash duo. I think as, as, I guess it's yeah. an option, you know, why right. not? Like it'd be fun to be able to play co-op Mario Kart, you know, um, yeah. like if you don't want to compete. You can just be totally. like in the same cart together. Honestly, that yeah, that was one of the joys of Mario Kart Double Dash. I think I agree. I also think we're burying the lead a bit when you when you recognize what other franchises does Nintendo have a hold over, and mm -hmm. when you're in the character selection menu, you could be like, "Do I want a motorcycle? Do I want a cart? Or do I just want to run as Sonic the Hedgehog?" <laughs> and all of a sudden, we got loop de loops. We got animals that don't need vehicles to keep up with the race i think how would you like that yeah if we recognize <laughs> and acknowledge that mario and sonic at the olympic games exists and we can bring the sonic characters in i think literally running would be the most exhilarating <laughs> thing <laughs> just seeing like wiggler try to keep up with sonic <laughs> outside of the go-kart is so funny kamek trying to race Metal Sonic or Robo Sonic or whatever his name is. Steven, I think we started this question asking, how do you make another Mario Kart after 8 Deluxe? And I think what we've actually landed on is, how do you make Sonic work in 3D? <laughs> it's Mario Kart. <laughs> Sometimes you get the answer you're looking for with the wrong question, you know? <laughs> It's Mario Kart, yeah. I feel like that's a great place to end this. I think <laughs> I think we've landed on something really special here. Um, yeah. Hey, Miyamoto, hit us up. Email us. Uh, Any follow-up questions, you yeah, know where to reach us. Into the Aether Podcast at gmail.com, baby. Hit us up. Um, thank you so much to those of you who uh, watched and or listened to this. Really appreciate it. Uh, hey, subscribe to us on YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe. You know you know the, you know the YouTube drill. And uh, catch us at uh, Into the Cast Online. Listen to the podcast. We'll talk to you later. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye. See you on the next track. <laughs> beep, beep. <laughs>